Welcome back to Rebuild Rescue. So we're supposed to head down to Florida to check out some wings for the 401 that I kind of already bought because the guy said I, I had to buy them um, or he was going to be getting them right. for scrappers. So we got these wings and we were going to hop in the TB20 and we were going to, you know, just fly down to Florida and check this stuff out. But unfortunately, this thing got hot. We're not sure what's wrong with it. It, it wasn't climbing well. The temperatures were shooting up, but it's definitely just, yeah, it's, it, it's not anything that we can fly to Florida. We got to no, do some more work to it. So I guess we're going to have to head out and hop on a commercial jet, get down to Florida. That kills me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. So it's four in the morning and Jake and I are headed out to the airport to meet Sam to head out to Florida to check out these wings and I think we're also gonna check out another airplane that I've owned for a number of months but I haven't seen yet. What's going on, Sam? Nice early morning. Oh, yeah. So this is like the first time I think Jake's been or what will be on an airplane since he was like a kid. Really? Yeah. Sounds like this big. Yeah. Sam, you think these wings will be any good? No. I don't. Dang. I hope I'm wrong. Very hopeful. Yeah, you're hopeful. Or how about you? What do you think? You think the right. wings will be all right? We'll see. We'll see. Alright, so we just landed here in Miami and we're gonna go check out the wings for the 401. But first, there's another airplane I mentioned we've owned for the last probably six or seven months that I've never even seen. I have, but you've seen it. I have seen it. So let's go check it out. All right, so we're about, I don't know, like five minutes from the airport and we're gonna go get to see this airplane. I'm like really, really excited to check it out. It's just so hard to have an airplane for like a number of months and just be so busy and so invested in another project that you just can't see it. But um, we had to come down here anyway, so it's a great excuse for us to check it out. You've already sold, that's not even, that's not fair. I know. 
I'm thinking about going and looking at all your other airplanes that you haven't seen. We're not talking about that right now. Why is it when I pull up to an airport I've never seen before and I see all the old airplanes that are just completely like crumbling into the ground that get excited? I think it's a disease, but... I think it is a disease. Look at that one there. That's pretty cool. It's the right airport, right? I think so. I don't know. See a lot of candidates. I'm trying not to see them. I see it. It is right down there. <laughs> wow. This is the airplane we're talking about. We do have, well, I have two of these. Sam has one of these. So if you notice in past videos when we're flying with Sam, a lot of times he's flying his Cougar. Well, he had inspired me because the Cougar is such an awesome airplane to get one. So I bought a wrecked Cougar out in Minnesota at an auction that I've never seen. And a few days later, I bought this Cougar as a parts plane that's not wrecked but it's sitting here abandoned at the airport. I don't know about abandoned, but it's been sitting here parked and not being used for a pretty long time. Yeah. Uh, but I bought it for parts. So let's check it out. The old owner is coming to meet us here uh, that I bought it from, and he knows more about these Cougars than I think either of us. Yeah, he's very knowledgeable. Other than some uh, Florida Florida sun-baked paint. It really doesn't. A little bit of Florida sun-baked paint. We'll have to ask Larry at the Ammo NYC if he can buff this out. So, like, I, I don't know, Larry. Do you think you can buff this out? Yes. I think he can. <laughs> he can buff that out. I don't know. So, from what I understand, I think these control surfaces got all corroded, and that's the reason why it's still sitting here and the reason you know, why I was able to buy it. I originally bought it just for the props because the Cougar that I bought at that auction in Michigan had a prop strike and the props are nearly impossible to find because there's only, they only built 115 of these or something. And right. there's probably only like 70 of them flying anymore. I don't even think, it's, I, Jason, I think it's only like 30 still flying. Wow. So like between Sam and I, we have three, three a of tenth them. of the field. Yeah. So if you look at like these control surfaces here, take a look at this here. I mean, they're, uh, they're pretty corroded. These would have to be replaced, which this is a, um, this is like a bonded wing. Um, it's, it's actually aluminum and fiberglass. Yeah, these aren't gonna work. They need replaced. Same thing with, you know, pretty much any of the mounting points where you have steel and aluminum touching. There's, uh, you know, a good bit of corrosion on them, and they're uh, locked up tight. I don't know. I, I've seen a lot of parts that are better on this than are on mine. <laughs> the baggage door shuts nicely. The door shuts nicely. So one of the reasons we wanted to stop by is I wanted to check this thing out. I wanted to see it, but also we want to take the props off and we're going to get those mailed out or shipped out to Minnesota. No, Minnesota, not Minnesota. That's not where the airplane is. And we're going to get them shipped out to Michigan where the other- One of those M words. One of those M words. So where the other Cougar is parked so we can fly back to Pennsylvania and have another Cougar. Yeah. It, it had a prop strike. So we get to replace one of the props and inspect the engine. But, uh, but this is the way we're gonna do it because you can't get these props anymore. That's the whole reason I bought this whole airplane. But, but now that I'm looking, looking at, at it, it, it's not that it's bad. It's not that bad. Yeah, I mean, Sam, so Sam's gonna hop in it. He's gonna fire it up and fly home. Clear prop. Just, there's only one, that these don't move very much, so. You don't need much. Yeah. You have to lean in the airplane to turn it. Yeah, like an ultralight. <laughs> No bird nests in there. There's no cow plugs, but there's also no bird nests. I don't know if like Florida birds don't like airplanes or what. Yeah, really the gear that, doesn't. It's really not bad. The gear doesn't look too bad corrosion wise. 
mean, I see some things I don't like, but I don't think it's anything that we can't get fixed up pretty quick. Let's take a look up here in the gear door area. You can see, I'm not gonna touch this much because I'm under the airplane. I mean, this spring is shot. This is, this is gone. Um, anything steel up here definitely has some um, corrosion on it, but you know, it's not anything that really is too bad. You know, with as little of, of these airplanes that are flying anymore, it would be terrible to not resurrect this one. Locked? No luck cylinder. Make sure no bees fly out of here, ready? Looks good under here. think I think they did a good job fixing his nose I heard that an airplane came by and, and clipped his nose kind of ripped it right off of here so they fixed it up it doesn't look too nice but Great body work. looks solid yeah no I, I, I think it's a you know pretty solid airplane all right let's take a look at the interior and make sure there's no bees at all Yeah, it just looks like looks like the sun beat down on the dash pad. That would need some work. Uh, all the windows need replaced. They're all pretty much all of them are uh, are kind of milky. Looks like the carpet carpet isn't the best. Let's see if the controls move. Mm. Throttle feels good. Prop feels good. They need a little mixture, needs a little lube, but it does move. Obviously, all the avionics are out. Well, it looks like it's got a little bit of juice. I wonder if this thing would fire up. What do you think? Good. You Good. try to fire it up? Yeah. I wonder if the brakes work. I hear the gyros spinning up. Let's see if the brakes, see if we get any brakes here. Yeah, it looks like we got we got brakes. Brakes are good. Looks like the uh, primer switch is marked in up here. Let's see if we can fire up, uh, fire this thing up. Both mags are hot. Master's on. Fuel pumps on. Full rich. Props in. We'll pumps the throttle here. Clear prop. Clear prop. Left mags are on. All right, let's give this, uh, pump the brakes up. Let's give this left one a shot here. Clear prop. So both engines turn over. There's not enough juice to get it started, unfortunately, but I did kind of just want to see if it would start. I can't wait to see the one in Michigan. From again, I've never seen it, but from what I understand, it's pretty darn cool. It's in really good shape. Way better than Sam's. That's what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> Sam doesn't really care because he just wants. Mine to fly flies. It. Mine flies. Yeah, eh, there you go. Unlike most of your airplanes. This is true. All right, so we got a chance to look at the Cougar. You know, I was thinking about getting this thing started and everything, but oh, we got to get it started. Well, but we can't do it today. We got to go down and look at the 401 wings. Yeah, what did I say on those? Maybe 25%? 25%. So we saying 25% that those 401 wings are gonna be any good. But we do gotta get down there. We're running out of time. But tomorrow, we're gonna come back here 
and we're gonna try to get this cougar running. It's been sitting for years. We'll see, but we're gonna try to get it started. Now, let's go get our wings. Yeah. Or the 25% wings. 25% of a wing. Ah. So I always get excited when my HelloFresh meals show up. It's quick, it's easy, and convenient. And with fall approaching, back to school, and all the things that we add to our schedule, it helps out a ton. I was really excited about partnering with HelloFresh. I've been getting HelloFresh here to feed my family fresh, right to the door food for months, and it's amazing. Let me show you. One of the most awesome things about HelloFresh is it's 72% cheaper than dining out or shopping in the grocery store, and it's fresh food. One of the things with HelloFresh that I really love is that it takes the guesswork out of your grocery shopping for the week because it's delivered to your door. And look, everything is already set up for you. You have your recipes right here. You know what you're cooking and who hates trying to figure out what you're cooking every week? HelloFresh helps you out. Here it is. You can even give this to one of the kids and have them help you make dinner. Where are the kids? So you would think with like delivery that it would take forever to get food to your house that's fresh. Not with HelloFresh, I mean, the name is HelloFresh. Hello. So it's literally from farm to you in under a week. I have never got ingredients from HelloFresh that weren't exactly that fresh. And guys, the other thing too is everything is responsibly packaged. We have recycled boxes recycled inserts, and everything is sustainable. According to a global study done by HelloFresh, food waste is cut down by 25% compared to grocery store shopping. And the other exciting thing is I get to figure out what we're eating tonight. It's all packed, it's all ready to go, and I can pick my favorite one. Firecracker meatballs, Italian chicken pepper sandos, or my favorite, one pan Santa Fe pork tacos. Welcome to Taco Tuesday. So whether you want veggie, pescatarian, or fit meals, HelloFresh has a meal for you and your family. Go to HelloFresh.com and use promo code REBUILDRESCUE16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. Oh, the new HelloFresh came? Oh, absolutely. Yeah! <laughs> by all the airplanes and I want every single one of them. Yeah. Every time we come to the airport, I always find Sam looking at airplanes that need repair. If you look at this one, the front gear got ripped off. It's an SR-20. It looks like it's been out here for a long time. Oh, it's got no side window. Yeah, no side window. It's got major ramp rash just from sitting and flat tires. I mean, this is just, this is a shame, man. There's just so many, there's so many airplanes that, that need rescued. Watch, there's wasps, tons of them, right where you're walking. Wow, crazy. Got your snake boots? Oh, I'm good. Watch you get bit now, but I <laughs> Buy a copper head at that. So here are oh, it looks like he took them apart semi properly. Yeah, he didn't cap them, that would have been nice, but hey, there's a rudder here. I mean a, a elevator too. Yeah. I didn't know that was here. 
So one of the things I learned a long time ago is a picture's worth a thousand words, except for sometimes the pictures look a lot better than what seeing them in reality look like. And if you look at these, I mean, besides worrying about my life here, uh, good thing I'm not allergic to anything. Um, it, it does have some corrosion on top, but it's, it's just kind of surface. Um, you can tell these things have sat for a long time. But our, the major concern that we have is, is these two areas. So the major concern that we have is this area here, which on our 401 is completely ruined. And this one right here, which on here, you can see it has pull rivets. This was repaired before. Wow, it actually, actually looks really good. In the back area there where ours is really corroded feels really good now this does have what looks like to be a lot of junk in the bottom but it's actually just some surface um, dirt everything really and surprisingly looks pretty darn good but you again you can see all these pool rivets this was repaired before this whole firewall area was repaired and I'll bet these main support beams I would put money on them that these were replaced at one time so if you see here right here this is where we have a burn hole in ours from the exhaust gas coming through somebody put a doubler on it you'll be able to see from the other side this whole at one time this this whole wing was pulled apart and repaired which is a good thing yeah it was correctly yeah but we have no logbooks on it. No, we do. We, we don't have any logbooks on it. But it, but it was done. Um, right. You know, and it looks good. All right, let's take a look at the other one. Yeah, we'll flip these up here in a second. Well, hopefully. Yeah, I don't know right. how much they weigh, but. All right, let's take a look at this other beam. Yeah, see those beams? They look really good. Yeah, only thing I can do, I can feel a little bit of surface corrosion on this beam over here, but it, it's not bad at all. Again, on this one here, it doesn't have the repairs, but you can see how the whole beam was primered I mean, within the last, I don't know, 10 years or so, possibly. It does have stuff growing up through it, though. They, they really look, this part of, of the wing looks a ton better than ours. But the question is, what do they look like on the underside? And the only way to figure that out is going to be to flip it up. Right. And, uh, and which way did we flip it? Because we got the ailerons back there and we got the engine mount out front. I think we uh, see which way we can flip it based on how heavy it is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we'll try to grab the back and, and we'll try to pick it up, right. is what I'm thinking. And we'll kind of teeter it on the right front of the tip tank. And on this uh, this engine mount here, how heavy is it? Yeah. Heavy. Let me pick this side up. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's not coming up. I think it's grown in. It's a problem. Yeah. There we go. Um, go ahead. That's good. I'm gonna hold this up with my knee. If you wanna take a look, or if you wanna grab that center block underneath that trailer there. All right, so let's get this center block under here. And I found a jack. Pretty convenient. Take it up and I'll put this block on here. Yeah. Can you think you can get that picked up? All right, so we got this thing up. That thing's heavier than it looks. Yeah, it is. I had, that was my coffee. That was that coffee energy. Um, so let's take a look at this thing and see what it looks like underneath. Now, how awesome would it be if this had like spar straps? That would be pretty awesome. But it's only supposed to have like 3,700 hours in this airplane. Wow. It actually looks really good under here. It actually looks really good. The underside of here is pretty darn good. And the fuel tank. Being uh, this is a bladder tank, 
but being that this cap is off, I don't know how long the cap's been off. I'm sure the bladder shot, but you automatically have to figure on replacing one of those anyway. I'm really surprised, uh, honestly, how how good everything looks. Yeah. Really surprised. And I see how this has all been uh, has all been uh, Cherry Max riveted and and repaired. I'd probably say maybe like I, I was thinking like ten years ago, but I'd say probably maybe five. So we just narrowly escaped with our lives because of attack of the killer. What were they wasps or hornets? Yeah, they were or, wasps. I have no idea where they were, but. Uh, Jake hightailed it out of there with the camera, and I grabbed the bag, and Sam patiently walked away. <laughs> Without being stung. Without being stung. I think they chased me and Jake, because probably we probably smell better than Yeah, Sam you're does. sweeter. Yeah, much sweeter. Man, I thought those wings were going to be a lot better than that. 25%, <laughs> I think that would, uh, yeah. actually, they well, you might. They you, weren't terrible. You, yeah, but you might have got the 25%. I think they might have been 50%. So. Hey, here's John now. Oh, nice. And a sob. A sob, a a sob story. Sob. It's a sob story. It's a story of my life. Sob story. Hello, Jason. What's up, John? How are you? I think you need to have some maintenance manuals <laughs> when you work on airplanes. <laughs> Hey John, good to see you again. <laughs> so, see you, Sam. so, so John is an a, you're an APIA. Yes. So you have you have all the all the credentials. I get the tickets. And, and you have books. you have you have books. And you have the books. books. Yeah. It's funny. I think all APIAs like drive around with books in their cars. <laughs> oh, I, I sold this to you. You need these books. I do. I do need these books. I do. <laughs> and and this will tell me where the battery is, right? Yes. Because yeah. we were trying to but start this you, earlier. It is in the nose. Yeah. So we were trying to start this earlier today. We went and checked out some wings for the 401. Um, they weren't so good. They were okay. But anyway, that's another story. Um, but yeah, so we want to, I think, pop the battery out maybe, get it charged up. Does Sam have a copy of these for his own airplane? I do, actually. Oh, okay, good. But thanks. You do? <laughs> I do. How come you never showed them to me? You never asked. You never look at this anything. This plane doesn't need any work. <laughs> <laughs> we know the battery's low. We're going to pull the battery out and we're going to get it charged up. And then we're going to come back tomorrow to get this thing started up. Hopefully. We'll see. I give that a 60% chance. 60% chance. Yeah. All right. So I hear a little bit. Is that why it says push on there? Yeah. Is that in the manual? Hey, not sure I have one of those. Yeah, you don't have one of those. I know where you can get one. <laughs> yeah, right, so at the I. Grumman Cougar store. <laughs> I think and I know this where. is not the Grumman Cougar store. <laughs> and that's a little battery for a big, big airplane. Yeah, it is a little small. Yeah. Want me to get my head in there with you? I'm good. This is like a, a kid's toy size battery. Nice. Yeah. I feel the power. Hey, wait, wait. No, this is great. Look. So what do you get in Florida when you take a battery out? You get a lizard. A lizard? Yeah, a lizard. Dead one? Well, he's just sleeping. Dehydrated or electrocuted? He's dehydrated. We might have to name this the lizard. Yeah, so let's go back. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna go get some tools for tomorrow. We're gonna go to the hotel, get a charger, get that battery charged up, and we're gonna come back tomorrow. Oh, gotta save the manual. There's pages flying away. Ah, uh, we didn't need those pages. Ice and rain protection. I know you don't need to know about that stuff. Right. I never fly in bad weather. Yeah. John, I'm going to put this in your car for right now. All right. So we're going to get this battery charged up. We're going to get a charger for it. We'll charge it at the hotel tonight. I'm going to get a jumper pack, a spare set of tools, and we'll be back tomorrow because we're going to get this thing started. I hope.
not sure how many of you have ever charged a battery in a hotel room, but they do look at you a little weird when you're walking in the hotel with a battery in your hand and and a charger. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I, we're not weird at all. <laughs> like the heat looked at it's like really weird. You think this is the first airplane battery ever charged in this hotel? Well, like I said, I, I, I don't think you see many people bringing in batteries, but we got to get this thing charged up. If that thing is going to start, you know, and I really wasn't going to do this. I wasn't going to show, you know, get that thing started, but man. What would a rebuild rescue video be without trying to start something? Day two here uh, in Florida. We're back here with a Cougar and we're gonna try to get this thing started. Let's get at it. Jason, you want me to tell him we need a little bit of fuel? Sure. Let's do 10 gallons. All right. Got a little bit of corrosion here on that cap, which obviously means there's probably some moisture in there. Uh, he says 10, so 10. 10, 10. What kind of aircraft is this? Uh, this is a Grumman Cougar. Grumman Cougar. Uh, I've been asking yep. the guys, I'm like, what? They're like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> nah, there's not That's, very many of them. There's not many, no. Nah. Let's check the oil. 7 quarts and it looks pretty good. Check the other side. 8 and a half quarts and it looks good too. Nice. Hopefully we don't get attacked again by hornets here. Or snakes. <laughs> or snakes. I don't think there's any snakes over here, but hornets. That's Florida. There's alligators and snakes. <laughs> Got All it? Right. Got it now. So looking at the engine on this Cougar, it's a lot more corroded and it's just a lot dirtier than uh, what I had assumed it was going to be for some reason. A little bit of a letdown. It's surface corrosion uh, on the engine mounts. So, you know, but it you can just tell it. It's you, Florida. They need to come off and be powder coated. And Yeah. But, it, I mean, it's Florida. It's uh, just the way it is down here, you know. But you just get this, uh, just this special corrosion that's kind of special to Florida. These, uh, these are great engine cores, though. These are going to make some really good, uh, really good engines. I'd hate to... Pull these apart, look how corroded everything is here and just all over yeah. the place. Well, this stuff doesn't look bad though. I mean, I, I guess it would clean up pretty good. It's just, it just sat for a long while. All right, let's see what we can do to get this thing started. What do you think? What's chances it fires up? What did I say yesterday? 60%. <laughs> you said 60 yesterday. I, only be, I, I don't know if I said that yesterday. That's what I'm feeling today. We'll see. All right. Should. All right, so we're gonna try things a little bit different today than we did yesterday. Get the fuel on. Master on. Voltage looks like this engine already has uh, 3,200 RPM. It's the quietest uh, running engine I ever saw. Gonna get the mixture rich. Get a little bit of throttle. Let's turn the fuel pump on, and we'll see if we get any pressure. Oh yeah, we got pressure right away. I'm gonna give it a couple 
shots here. Hopefully that's some clean fuel going in there. Magnetos are hot. Clear prop. I'm gonna shut it down. All right, so let's see if we can get the other one fired up. I'm gonna cross feed the fuel over to the left tank. Um, we did sump this right tank completely and we got all the water out and everything. So I wanted to cross feed over to the left engine from the right tank. And we also, that's the one that we filled up. Get this left engine. Rich. Let's see if this other one will fire up. Clear front. I think we're going to fire up the right engine just like we did in the 401 to get some power over on this uh, the charging on the battery so I'm gonna fire up the right engine and then I'll fire up the left engine fired up and ran really good. Yeah, so I'm actually surprised they fired up. They ran great. I was really surprised. Like they ran yeah, great. They ran really well. um, these are going to make really good uh, core engines possibly for the other airplane. I'm really not sure what we're going to do with this airplane yet. I like I have no idea. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming along uh, down with us on this trip to Florida. Make sure you like the video, turn your notifications on, and guys, make sure you're subscribed so you can come along with us on the next journey. That's Rebuild Rescue. Thank you so much. Which might be Michigan. Might be Michigan. It's not gonna be Michigan. I said might. It's not, it's not. Don't listen to Sam. So I'm here in the hangar. We got back from Florida a few days ago and I've been calling down to Florida about getting those wings picked up and the airport's giving me some problems about how a recycler's coming to pick them up or I can't pick them up because they don't know who owns them. It's, uh, it's been a big problem. I'm getting different stories from the guy that I bought the wings from. I've already paid for them and we wanna get them loaded up in a trailer and shipped up here, but I, I don't know what's going on. Um, everybody's giving me different stories. So hopefully we actually get those wings I just wanted to drop something in the video and let you guys know uh, before the next video. I, I don't know what's happening. Hopefully we don't lose the wings. Um, hopefully if we do, I can get my money back, but uh, it's just, it's not looking good. So stay tuned. Um, we'll see what happens, man.